We knew that the numbers weren't looking good for Shazam 2. We saw those box office projections, realized that it might not even match up to the original, but nobody was prepared for numbers this bad. The worst DCEU opening in history. And since that moment, since we saw those opening weekend numbers, we've seen a lot of people involved at DC, including people on Shazam 2, start to speak out about things, including the star Zachary Levi. Now, he went and he talked about the marketing. He talked about some fans that might be happy that it's failing. He even shared some articles involving other people, namely Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and how they may have influenced Shazam 2. Well, now, once again, Zachary Levi is deciding to speak out amid Shazam 2's box office flop. Shazam Zachary Levi clarified post about The Rock and reacts to Fury of the God's performance at the box office. If you're not familiar with Zachary Levi, if you're not following him on Instagram, he goes live a lot to talk to his fans, to talk about stuff. Uh, famously, he's gone live before to talk about maybe some drama involved with DC and his future with DC back when James Gunn and Peter Safran took over. Well, now he's doing that once again, and there are some interesting, some interesting words out there from Zachary Levi. One thing that he wanted to make very clear... But he says he's not blaming anybody. I've never blamed anybody for the failure, uh, but we are going to get into exactly what he shared about The Rock and why he says his reasons for doing that were. If you remember, amidst all of this stuff, a big news story broke from The Rap saying that, oh, by the way, The Rock was really involved in not allowing Shazam to really flourish. He cut things from the post credit scenes. He wouldn't allow the people that appeared in his movie to appear in a Shazam mid credits post credit scene. Also, he refused to appear in a Shazam movie. He didn't want Zachary Levi anywhere near Black Adam. Zachary Levi shared this on Instagram, this, this story that very much slammed The Rock over, you know, messing around with stuff at DC. And Zachary Levi says, the truth shall set you free. Now, he wants to make it very clear that he's not blaming anyone for this. We're going to listen to this clip from him. Uh, I may or may not have, you know, uh, reposted something in my stories. Um about a story that I had nothing to do with, uh, that, that, that uh, The Wire had reported on. The rap. And then I got flack about it because people were saying, oh, what are you, you, what are you doing? You're trying to blame this guy because your movie's not, not doing well? Like you're trying to blame us? Listen, I haven't blamed anybody. There's not one single person that I have blamed for anything but the way that our movie has performed. I legitimately haven't. And if you're listening to uh, videos or watching videos of me or looking at things uh, and you're getting that idea, you are being fooled. You are being brainwashed. You are, you are looking at propaganda. Those are clips. Those are edited. Those are taken completely out of context. And so I just encourage you, if you're out there, if you're hearing this right now, or if you, hear, or if you see, by the way, this will probably all get chopped up too. Uh, this is the irony. Well, this is getting chopped up, but I think there's there's a lot of context in this. is a minute, 30 second long clip. We're going to let him get to the end. But but I just want to interject and say, I do think that there's a difference between saying, hey, listen, I, I haven't I haven't blamed a single person for our boxer results, but he has been talking a lot on social media. He's been talking a lot about how, you know, I just think the marketing, it, that, that was the problem for this. People didn't know about it. The marketing was a failure. He did give an interview where he talked about some fans that, that really didn't want him to succeed, things like that. And then I do think... Like, I, I, I think you have to take a little bit of ownership over sharing this and say the truth shall set you free. You know, if, if you're not looking to, to instigate something or whatever, then why would you share that, right? That, that's the way a lot of people are going to look at it. I will agree with Zachary Levi, and overall, I like Zachary Levi for the most part, but um, I will agree with him when he's talking about some videos and clips. There are some clips from whether it's conventions, things like that, that, that are being snipped out and shared. Um, some answers to questions to make it look like he really fucking hates The Rock and things like that. I, I will give him, I will say that. I that's why I haven't shared any of those because a lot of those are taken out of context, but let's let him continue. Um, but I swear to you, I'm not blaming any of you. I'm really not. Uh, I have my thoughts about what's going on. But but here's the thing. The reason I, the reason I sh decided to share that was not because I want to blame anybody for anything. It's because I do not want to be blamed for things that are not on me. And I don't, and as a leader and, and I believe a protector of my family, my Shazamly and everyone who worked so hard on these movies and everybody who worked so hard at New Line and Warner Brothers and DC. And at the end of that clip, because it cut off at a minute, 30 seconds, the end of that clip is we wanted to fight so hard for the fans. That's what he said. But he's saying, I'm not trying to blame anybody. I just don't want to be blamed is what he says. 
And then he gets into detail about exactly what that article was about surrounding The Rock, surrounding him interfering, and surrounding the credit scene that they had set up versus what had to happen and why he doesn't want people blaming James Gunn. This is according to Zach Levi. Listen to this. People are slagging on James Gunn because Jennifer Holland, his wife, who is an actress who's on a show, who's on Peacemaker and was in Suicide Squad, yes, but is connected to the Justice Society, we used Jennifer and Steve in that scene, in the mid credit scene in, in Shazam. But that was not the original intent. The original intent was to have Hawkman and Cyclone be there to inviting me. By the way, this is a little bit of a spoiler alert for anybody who hasn't seen the movie. Now again, Hawkman and Cyclone appeared in Black Adam. And according to this report, The Rock interfered, would not allow them to appear in Shazam because he wanted nothing to do with the franchise. <laughs> Sorry! Uh, whatever, it's all online anyway. Um, so our intent... Our desire, Walter Hamada, Peter Safran, David Sandberg, myself, everybody, we had an awesome scene that would have tied me in to the JSA with Hawkman and with Cyclone, and we were thwarted. It's, I'm not, this is not me. I'm not talking about these things. I'm trying to blame anybody for our movie, doing however well or not well it's doing. I am merely coming to the defense of the people that ought to be defended. I'm coming to the defense of truth, because truth is is good and we should all live in it guys even when it's hard even when it's something that might fly in the face of something that we already might have believed before and now it challenges whatever our idea or our opinion is we need to live in the truth well uh, there's the explanation there's the reasoning the truth is that shazam 2 is a massive box of his failure that shazam 2 fury of the gods might not hit 200 million dollars worldwide it might end up less than birds of prey if you can actually believe that and, and i don't think we've heard the end of this internal dc drama because we never do because this is dc this is what happens um you know zachary levi clarifying his comments saying i'm not trying to blame anybody i just don't want anyone that i don't think should get the blame for something well, there you have it. What do you guys think about this? Uh, let me know in the comments section below. Who deserves the most blame for Shazam 2's failure at the box office? Let me know in the comments below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.